Okay guys, how you doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Uh, this right here is the Immerse 4K Cinema. I decided to do it on a much larger scale as I explained in the last video when you just saw the frame uh, because I felt that the smaller sample sheets, the smaller test sheets uh, just wasn't doing it. I needed to do it on a much larger test sheet to show you exactly on a bigger scale. I, I thought, you know, when I'm upstairs, I'm doing my demonstrations, a lot of stuff going through my head. I'm thinking, yeah, it shows off how amazing the picture looks, but what does it look like on a larger scale? And this is something a lot of customers, customers will ask because a lot of people don't understand that when you have a projector, depending on the distance and the size of the screen, the pixelations have to expand, all right? And because they have to expand, you will lose some form of picture quality because the pixelations have to expand farther apart from each other. Or if you do this on a smaller scale, this is 100 inch, the pixelations are tightly pushed together even more and it gives you a sharper picture. But some people don't realize that there's a lot of science when it goes behind a projection screen. Now also too, distance because the farther back your projector if you're using a long throw that means you would have to have your projector farther back to accommodate the size of the screen which means the long throw would have to travel through more light or uh, maybe a more extreme environment or just basically sometimes some long throws just by the time they hit the screen the screen does not produce enough gain and it makes the picture look really dirty or really blurry or something like that so anyway I um, want to clear up a few things about the Immerse 4K Cinema because we get a lot of emails about this screen. Uh, when we first started off, the screen was going to be designed with the smallest size of being 135. Now we have changed it to 120 to accommodate customers who may not have that uh, room to, to, to fit a screen of that massive size. So the size of the screens will be 120, 135, 150, and sorry, 180 and 200, like I thought the 180 was the end of the screen. So anyway, the ratio size of the screen will be 16.9, is actually 3D and 4K ready, must be used with a projector that's 1080p or 4K. This is not designed for 720p projectors. This is a more advanced screen, more advanced technology. Now, as a lumen wise, I know you guys see me using this 3000 lumen projector in a demonstration, which is the ViewSonic. It's a DOP projector. Mind you, I've used this on LCD and DOP. Um, I do have another high end, high tech boss of a projector coming in uh, today, courtesy of my amazing partners over in Miami. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Um, so, um, can't wait to set that up because that's going to take the screen on a whole nother level. As a matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm being suggested that I have to start doing my demonstrations on more high performance projectors uh, to show off the screen's true ability because you guys are not really seeing the ability of what these screens can actually do. Now, the projector I'm going to show you here, I'm using now, yes, I've had foot problems with this projector, but it's working right today, so I'm going to go with it. I'm only going to use it for a short while because now it's having overheating issues, but not overheating issues, but I'm not worried about that because the new one's coming today. But this is my DLP. Uh, 3D ready, 1080p, full 1080p, HDMI Deep Sonic at 3000 lumens. Um, from where the screen is sitting, we are, knocked over my measuring tape here, we are 16 feet from the screen. And this is very important when you do demonstrations on distance. You know, you're going to have people are going to have long, throw, long throws. And they're going to be the one to do a screen of 150. That projector is going to have to come back pretty far. This screen is nowhere near 150. It's bigger than 100 inch. It's bigger than 120 inch. As a matter of fact, the size, for those of you who are asking the size of my, 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 I call this my test screen, is actually 7 feet high and around 11 feet, um, about, I'd say about 10 feet, about 10 feet, 7 by 10 feet. So 7 feet high, 10 feet, because I feel that when you do a demonstration on just 100 inch, the problem you have with that is, like I said, with the pixelations, they're tighter knit together, the picture quality comes out better. People want to see it on a much larger scale. You might, you might have a customer who might want 120, you want a customer who's 150, you want a customer who's 180, and you have to be able to see it on that scale. Upstairs, I had the Crystal Edge on a 200 inch screen. It was massive, and you see the picture quality. You didn't lose any picture quality whatsoever, even the fully lit room. The picture looked absolutely incredible. Um, see if I'm missing anything with the with the um anything oh oh okay okay lumens because you guys see me using a 3000 lumens that a few people ask me hey i only have 24 lumens is that going to be enough for the screen yes the screens can be used with projectors as low as 2000 lumens 
you only difference is what only requirement is is you have to use 1080p or 4k that's it other than that looks fantastic all right so let's get the lighting in here uh we're just going to basically do this on a bit of a movie setting i'm going to be adding some more lights so i'm going to add lights over there lights over here i'm going to light up pretty good i'm also going to do movie settings and stuff like that maybe we've got a popcorn maker down here who knows but anyway so let's get this started let's power on our view sonic I gotta take that projector down to get it fixed too. I do like this projector. The ViewSonic DLP, I love this freaking projector. I'll put the model number of it. Also too, got a little interesting announcement. Um, I have a link which I'll be posting on my next video when the new projector gets in. I'll be showing off the new projector. I'll put a link at the bottom of the comment section. You might want to subscribe. Come on, man. You might want to subscribe and hit like because I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna be posting some very interesting deals on 4K and 1080p projectors. I found a very interesting deal on a new, new model uh, 4K projector that hasn't even launched yet, but it is available. I'm gonna be posting at the bottom of the comment section on the next video what I'll be doing, showing off the new projector that I got from my awesome partners. All right, so let's get this started. Hopefully Comcast will be kind to me today and not lock up on me. Yay! And they didn't. Because yeah, I have some issues with Comcast. Now, sorry if the screen's a little bit crooked, but like I said, I didn't have time to adjust the right. Doesn't make a difference because I'm going to bring the new one in pretty soon. Ah, we got a little lock in there. I'm hoping Comcast plays nice with me tonight. For today, it's today, it's early in the morning. There we go, just adjusting the projector just a little bit. Just feels a little bit on a slant a little bit, but I'll get a chance to adjust all that later on. The projector is sitting back 16 feet from the screen and it looks absolutely fantastic. Okay, so we're going to come in here really quick. I'm just going to grab one more demonstration, guys. All right, we'll put in some. Uh, there we go. I don't know why they would have this haunting music with that particular demonstration. I don't know why. Okay. There we go. So the screens will be launching on the 23rd, that's when the screens will be available, so it'll be this Friday on the 23rd, you'll be able to pick the screens up. Um, I'm figuring that because of all the emails I've been getting, the 150 and 180s are going to sell out pretty quick. I've been getting a lot of information and those people are asking me exactly the approximate size and weight, so i got people already, actually I think someone's already dropped uh, two pre-orders. We were going to, uh, really quick before I start getting to the pre-orders, we were going to do pre-orders for the screen. We decided to turn the pre-order date into the actual launch date. So I have customers already just setting aside already for that screen. Show you just how beautiful it is. Okay guys, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Game. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. That's my projector right there overheating, but no worries because I had, like I said, I have the new one coming in. So I'll be able to replace this one uh, with the new one, which I cannot wait. And yeah, this is the issue that I'm having on it. 
very good projector, but like I said, I got to go down and get it fixed. I'm still going to get it fixed because I particularly like that projector. projector. But yeah, that's the only problem I have. But other than that, it's, it's a fantastic projector. But the new one's coming in, so ha, 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 I cannot wait. That's going to be a boss of a projector, man. I can't wait. I, I, I don't want to say too much about it. I'm not going to say what it is or what make and model it is. But when I get it and I open it up and I'm going to show you guys the video, man, jaw dropping. It's going to be freaking amazing. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. You guys all have a good one. The Immerse 4K Cinema Screens will be launching on the 23rd. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching.